The clean girl aesthetic has been pretty popular on TikTok and Pinterest over the past few months and I've received comments from people online and in person saying that I fit in that aesthetic. So with that, I did some research and being a clean girl basically just means that you have your life together, you're minimalistic, and you care a lot about self-care. And I don't know if I can say that my life is a lot like that, but for today's video, I'm going to try to live the clean girl aesthetic for a day. Just like my trying to be that girl video that I did like last year, I think, this video is just for fun and no one's life is truly perfect and is like aesthetic all the time. I definitely do not live the clean girl aesthetic, but we're just going to try it out for today's video. All right, so the first step I'm going to take to live the clean girl aesthetic today is to clean my environment because I feel like a clean girl is like someone that has their life together. So like their room is always clean and organized and stuff like that. Mine is definitely not, but we can get there. My room isn't honestly like that messy right now. I just have a lot of laundry to put away and random things that I need to put away as well. So I'm gonna get that cleaned up as the first thing to do today so that my room is like nice and clean and fresh for the rest of the day. finished cleaning my room that honestly took longer than I was expecting but it is so much cleaner now and I feel like definitely fits more of the clean girl aesthetic than it did before so now I'm going to get ready for the day and while I was looking at Pinterest for like clean girl outfit ideas a lot of them were like very minimalistic some of them were like cute sweat sets a lot of like the basic tones like white beige and stuff like that and then some of them were just like simple outfits so I think I have an idea of what I'm gonna wear so let me grab that out of my closet and I'll show you guys so this is what I'm currently wearing. This is what I wore to bed last night It's just this oversized tee. It's from white fox and it has this like flower design on it I honestly feel like this shirt could fit the clean girl aesthetic, but like I wore it to bed So I'm gonna change. I also just have athletic shorts underneath But what I was thinking for like my outfit today first we have this cute little white cami top It has lace and a little bow on it And I feel like this top is definitely clean girl vibes like it's very simple minimalistic and like cute and then for for bottoms, I was thinking my black flare leggings. I saw a lot of these in like the clean girl outfit pictures on Pinterest and I don't feel like wearing like jeans. So we're gonna stay comfy with these. I'm gonna put on the outfit, see how it looks and then we'll finish getting ready. All right, so here is the whole fit. It doesn't look as good as I was imagining in my head, but honestly, I think it looks fine because also the clean girl aesthetic is like comfy and this is pretty comfy. So here's how the top looks. This is from YesStyle by the way. And then these are the leggings they are crossover and then flared they're from airy and yeah so that is my whole outfit for today next up i'm going to do my makeup and one thing about the clean girl aesthetic makeup is it's very minimalistic and simple and it looks glowy or like dewy if that makes sense which i feel like i already kind of stick to that in my real life i don't know if you guys have noticed but i am definitely sunburnt i went to the beach for like five to seven hours i don't even know but we were there for a while i reapplied 
applied sunscreen like three times on my cheeks and I still got burnt. I got a really good tan though, like on my back and stuff. I just burned here and I know it looks bad, but honestly, kind of giving the natural blush look just like slightly too much, if that makes sense. So I'm not gonna do too much stuff on my face because I don't wanna put too much on the sunburn. What I am gonna put on it is some aloe vera because I need to keep this on it so it doesn't start peeling and because it's like hot. With the minimal makeup, I feel like the clean girl aesthetic also does minimal skincare, which makes sense. But I don't wanna do too much skincare on my face today just because of the sunburn. So what I'm gonna do is moisturize on the parts that aren't burnt with my Glossier After Balm. This is what I use every morning. By the way, I already washed my face. I just forgot to film it. I did it earlier this morning. So after that, now I'm just gonna put on some aloe. This is gonna make my cheeks look super shiny. So just kind of ignore that for a minute. But now that I have the aloe on there, we're gonna let that sit. And for the rest of my makeup, I'm gonna do mascara and then my brows and then just like chapstick. Very simple and super easy. By the way, I'm using the Glossier Lash Like Mascara. I love this stuff. It's my favorite everyday mascara. That is literally all I'm doing for makeup this morning. I feel like a lot of the times when people are like being the trendy aesthetic kind of, there's always like some type of journaling. And when I was like kind of researching the clean girl aesthetic, a lot of pictures of like the five minute journal and stuff popped up. Personally, I don't have that journal and I know I wouldn't be able to keep up with it. So my type of journaling is bullet journaling. I've talked about this before. Basically, it's like making your own planner and then you can add any other pages you want in here. I do these every year and I always end up making two journals so I'm currently at the end of this one so like I'm not really doing inspirational journaling if that makes sense like not really like affirmations and stuff but it's more like a planner for me so I'm gonna go ahead and fill out some of this because I do need to catch up a little bit for the month of August and that will be kind of like my journaling for this video So after I journaled for a little bit, I had some lunch. And like I mentioned earlier, self-care is a big part of the clean girl aesthetic. And so I decided I would take you guys along with some self-care shopping. So I'm going to take you guys along with me to Target and we're going to shop for some self-care. I already made a list of things that I for sure want to buy. And then I'll just look around and see if there's anything else. Let's go ahead to Target. So I'm in the hair care section. I'm first going to try to get my conditioner. These are my favorite, but I get the cucumber mint one, I think. It's like volumizing, but clearly it's not here usually it's like here here I think so normally I would go for this brand I love natives stuff but they don't have my conditioner I have heard good things about this Odell brand so I think I'll try out their conditioner I've heard that this like versed brand is good I don't really need anything from them right now I feel like I've heard that their cleansing balm is really good these are always good pimple patches I personally don't need any right now this whole like mighty patch brand is great I have like three of these in my shower so I don't need any but I love all of them. My favorite is this one. So I'm back from Target. That was like one of the busiest times I've ever been to Target. Like I think it was just a lot of last minute college shopping because I was in the beauty section like the whole time and it was so busy. I tried so hard to get vlog clips, but every two seconds there would be new people coming in the aisle and I didn't want to like take up too much space. So we're back. I did get Starbucks on the way out. It's very refreshing after that. That probably took like 45 minutes. This is literally my go-to drink for Starbucks. It's a strawberry acai lemonade refresher. No berries, light ice. So good. But let me give you guys a little Target haul. First, I got a new brush. I have like the basic magenta type pink wet brush. I've had it for years. I probably should have changed it out a while ago. But like the little balls on these little like peg things have fallen off. So it's just really rough on my scalp. And I'm like used to it. But I feel like that's just not good. So I decided to get a new one. I was just about to get like the same brush again. But I saw this one that's for thin or fine hair. And I have thin hair. We're gonna try it out. It was like $2 more. But hopefully 
it actually works and it's also purple then i got a new bottle of aloe when we were driving to target my dad asked me how old like the aloe i was using earlier is because we haven't honestly used it that much like i'm the one who uses it the most because of my sunburn so we don't know if it's like expired if it is it's probably not doing much for me since we didn't know and we figured it's probably not in the best condition i got a new bottle this one's clear then i got a new bottle of my makeup remover i love this stuff it works so well it also is good for cleaning makeup brushes and beauty blenders this is the micellar cleansing water and as you guys might have heard in the vlog i don't know if i got it in good audio i use the native cucumber and mint shampoo and conditioner and my conditioner just ran out and the target app said it was there but it wasn't so i did some research while i was in there and apparently this like odell brand is good and since i don't need shampoo i just bought their conditioner this is their volumizing conditioner my hair is very thin so volume is definitely helpful for me and i decided to try it out and lastly i got these like under eye patches this is from the brand pixie and this has been like a popular brand recently with like their blush and stuff i was thinking of getting their blush like stick but they didn't have the color that i wanted so i didn't end up getting it but i have heard good things about these as well and i wanted to try new eye patches these are their beautify ones and there's like four different types of patches to do different things these are good for brightening and energizing and also evening out your skin tone and it comes with 30 pairs so i decided to try it because why not that is everything that i got from target today okay so it's currently around 4 p.m and obviously it's not time to like have dinner or do anything for my nighttime routine so i'm honestly like kind of bored i would go out and like take my dogs on a walk or something but it is really hot and i need to stay out of the sun because of my sunburn so i'm trying to stay like inside and i went on pinterest and did some more like clean girl searches kind of and i found a lot of pictures of like girls reading i am not a big fan of reading like you really have to get me a good book to read and i would much rather scroll on tiktok but reading is like good to do and i did start a book in the beginning of the summer and i haven't picked it up in probably at least a month so i figured i would read for some time during this video this is the book that i'm reading it's a good girl's guide to murder i'm like halfway through but i think i'm just gonna sit here in my bed and read and maybe i'll even put my headphones on and listen to music even though i'm just sitting in my room just to kind of like complete the vibe i'm not in love with you anymore i didn't know you ever were let's not make this any more difficult than it already is I forgot how much I genuinely like to read this book. I like murder mysteries, so it's definitely up my alley, but I forgot like how good I really liked it. So I just read for about 45 minutes and I'm taking a break because my camera battery is about to die. But let me just say, if you go onto Spotify or whatever music thing you use and just search up like reading or like a reading playlist, literally just play any one of them, put headphones on or like AirPods or something and get comfortable somewhere and just read because it is so like, I don't know, relaxing and therapeutic i guess i literally was just in my bed not anywhere special and i just felt so like relaxed and in the zone like i honestly forgot that i was even filming at one point so definitely grab a book and play like a reading playlist but like i said my battery is gonna die so i'm gonna charge it and then by the time it's charged i'll probably like eat dinner and do some self-care So I'm out of the shower and I'm going to do my skincare. Like I said earlier, a big part of the clean girl aesthetic is like self-care and skincare. So I'm going to do some of that with you guys. First off, I already cleansed my face in the shower, but now I'm going to go in with my Curology prescription. Since my skin is still kind of healing from my sunburn, I'm only going to do a little bit in like my T-zone area. Usually I put it here and then like on my cheeks, but I want to leave that space like as open as possible so that like that skin can really just 
just soak in my aloe vera and not peel but after this i'm gonna put some moisturizer on other parts of my face and like bring it down to my neck and then also moisturize like my legs and stuff this is my favorite like moisturizer for my face and body i do use the curology moisturizer but recently my skin has been extra dry especially with the sunburn so i feel like this moisturizer is just a little bit better and now i'm gonna try the eye patches that i bought earlier technically i feel like these would be better to use in the morning because they're used to brighten and energize your under eye bags but it does also like even out your skin tone and hydrate and i'm not gonna be filming tomorrow morning so i figured i would just try them with you guys right now here's what the packaging looks like on top it does come with this little like applicator thing to help you put it on i think so you're supposed to put it on like this and put it underneath your eye with the big part outwards so it looks like that so it's said to leave these on for 10 minutes and then take it off and kind of rub in the rest of the serum so i'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes and i will come back when it's all like done all right so it's officially been 10 minutes they stayed on this one's kind of still sliding but they're still on so i'm gonna go ahead and like peel them off they feel very cooling normally when i do stuff like this on my face it tends to sting but these ones did not sting but it says not to wash off or like wipe off the serum it says to like rub it into your skin so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use my little jade roller and just kind of roll it into my skin i've been trying to use this jade roller more often with like serums and stuff but honestly i forget a lot of the time but since we're doing this i figured why not pull out the jade roller i'm gonna wipe off some of the serum that's like on my sunburn just because i don't want it to be on there but now for the last step of my little skincare self-care section i'm just going to apply some aloe vera gel normally for like skincare i would have done like an overnight sleep mask that i always like to use but for the sunburn i don't want to do that so i'm just gonna apply some of this this is the one i bought earlier so it's definitely gonna look shiny but that is literally all i'm gonna do for the last part of this video i'm just going to hang out in my bed and edit this is something that i do at the end of every day i find that i'm more focused like at this time of the day so i'm just gonna sit in my bed and edit for a little bit and then honestly i'll probably go to sleep because i honestly am pretty tired right now it's currently around 10 30 so i'll probably edit for about an hour and yeah so i'm gonna get started with editing all right here we go Working under fire, 